right so this step is optional so for the front um, for the front skirt piece which is pattern piece number three so what I went ahead and did is I curved the front edge so this is the side seam and then this is the front edge of the skirt so um, what I did was starting here I just went ahead and curved it and what I so I cut out before I, I um, made this alteration I cut out my fabric with the pattern piece and then I went ahead and cut this is optional I just wanted when my skirt overlapped I wanted to have a rounded edge opposed to having that um, type of square end or pointed edge so then I just went ahead and cut and then that's how I modified my pattern piece so now it has a nice rounded edge so when you see the skirt overlapping in the front but this is optional if you want to keep that piece on there you can right, so the first thing that we need to do is stay stitch the top edge of all four of our skirt pieces all right to do the stay stitch you want to line up the top edge with half an inch seam allowance go ahead and lower your needle begin sewing until you get to the other end Alright, and you can go ahead and repeat that process for the other three skirt panels. All right. The next thing that we need to do is take your two uh, back pieces and what you want to do is at the top of the waistband, go ahead and fold it in half. And right along this crease here, go ahead and make a snip. And you're going to repeat that process on the other back piece as well. Alright, so we'll be using this snip uh, later on in the skirt process. Alright, still working on the back piece, we need to mark our zipper stop. So on one side of the back pattern pieces, we have two notches uh, signaling where we're going to place our pockets. We're going to work on the opposite side. So this is the side, this is the center back side. You want to line up the two pieces or you can do it individually, your choice. And what you want to do is from the top, you want to measure down nine inches. And then you want to make a snip to signal that nine inch stopping point. So I snip through both layers and this is going to mark uh, where we're going to stop our zipper. All right, now it's time to attach our pockets. So what you want to do on all four pieces, make sure that the right side is facing up. This is one of my back skirt panel pieces, but you will do the same thing for uh, the two front skirt panel pieces. So take one of your pockets and you want to lay it right sides together. So the right side of my pocket is touching the right side of my skirt panel and you want to line it up. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and line up the notch in the pocket with the notch in the skirt. That's how you'll know you're working on the right side. So if you have um, if you have two notches over here on your skirt that lines up with the two notches in the pocket then you know that you're con connecting it correctly and you're not working on the wrong side.
all right and you can add additional pins if you need and then you can go ahead and repeat that process for the other three skirt panel pieces making sure that your pockets are faced with the right side of the skirt panel and pin might line up all of the notches starting either at the top or the bottom of the pocket go ahead and line up the edge with 3 8 of an inch seam allowance begin sewing and back stitch and you're going to keep sewing until you get to the other end of the pocket and you're going to back stitch again Alright, and you want to go ahead and repeat that process for the other three pockets. And then once you have all of them sewn, you want to go ahead and take it to your iron and press the pocket going away from the skirt panel piece. Alright, next go ahead and take one of your back skirt panel pieces with the right side facing up. Take one of the front panel pieces and lay it right on top. So now the right sides are touching. So this is the back, this is the front. What we're getting ready to do is pin along the side seam and the pocket area here. So what I like to do is first starting at the top of the, um, of the skirt, I like to line up the seams and place a pin. Then I like to come down here to the bottom of that pocket area and line up the seams. And then I like to place a pin there. The next thing that I like to do is find the two notches in my pocket. So there's one notch at the top and one closer towards the bottom. And then I like to place a pin there. Alright, then the next thing I go ahead and do is place pins going down this side seam, attaching the front and the back together. Alright, you can also add some additional pins around the pocket area. Alright, the next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is starting at the bottom of our skirt, we're going to sew up, and then we're going to sew till we get to this notch here in the pocket, then we'll stitch around and stop here, then we'll do a new stitch and start at the top and sew there, leaving an opening for our pocket. Alright, starting at the bottom edge, go ahead and line up the side seam with 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, lower your needle, begin sewing. Back stitch, and we're going to continue sewing until we get to that bottom notch in our pocket. Alright, once you get to that bottom notch in your pocket, pause, leave your needle in your fabric, lift up your presser foot, and turn your fabric. Put your presser foot back down, and you can get the pocket back lined up with 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, and continue sewing. <laughs> And as I'm sewing around the pocket, I like to use my hands to pivot around the curve. All 
All right, now we need to sew the top edge of the pocket. So what I like to do is that seam allowance that we have uh, previously from attaching our pocket, I line up that edge with 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. And just go ahead and begin sewing. Back stitch. And you're going to continue sewing until you get to that top notch in the pocket. Once you get to that top notch back stitch, sew forward and back stitch one more time. All right, and now you want to go ahead and take this to your iron and you want to um, press your pocket going towards the front panel of your skirt. And then you'll repeat the process uh, for the other front and back pieces of the skirt. All right, so the next thing that you want to do is lay out your interfacing with the glue dot side facing up. So that's the rough side. Then you want to take your waistband and then you want to lay it on top. And you want to make sure that the wrong side of your waistband is touching the um, glue dot side. And then you will just go ahead and cut around your waistband. And then to fuse it, I've already went ahead and fused mine. Um, but when you're fusing it, what you do is um, I spritz a little bit of water on top. Then I take my iron and I hold it down for 15 seconds. Then I move to the other side, holding it down for 15 seconds. And then I repeat that process back and forth all the way down. Then I like to flip it back over to the right side of my fabric. And then I do one last press on top to make sure everything that to make sure everything is nicely uh, fused together. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is make a few um, notches on our waistband. So the first thing that you want to do is fold your waistband in half. And then on the side, what you want to do, we need to mark our zipper stop. So since our waistband is five inches wide, you want to find the midway point, which is two and a half inches. So you can measure from down from the top two and a half or from the bottom up, but just mark right at the center. And then you want to take your scissors and clip a notch to mark that two and a half inch point. So that's for our zipper. The next notch that you want to make, since it's already folded in half, is right at the crease where it's folded in half. You want to make another notch to mark the center front. All right, once you have that center front notch clipped, now you can open up your waistband. And we need to make two more notches. So take the edge of your waistband and fold it and you want it to meet that center front notch. Now along this fold here, go ahead and clip a notch. This is going to mark uh, where we're going to line up our side seam. Then do the same thing again to this side. Take the edge, line it up with the notch. And then right along the fold area here, go ahead and clip a notch. All right, so we have a center front seam, we have our side seams marked, and we have our uh, zipper notches marked. All right, so now grab an index card or a seam gauge. Um, I like to use an index card and I went ahead and marked a 3 eighths of an inch um, marking. So now take your waistband, flip it over to the wrong side. So I'm right now I'm looking at my interfacing is facing up. So now I'm going to take my index card 
and we're working on the edge that does not have the notches so remember we marked the center front and the sides so that's up here I'm down here getting ready to um, so we're going to work on the opposite side we're going to uh, fold this up so what you want to do is take your index card and we're going to fold this edge up to meet that 3 eighths of an inch marking and then we're going to press this down and you're going to do that across the entire edge folding up to meet that 3 eighths of an inch mark and uh, pressing so then when you're done it should be uh, folded up all right now it's time to pin our skirt to our waistband so go ahead and grab your pins the first thing that you want to do is at the center back go ahead and line that up with the center back of the waistband which is on the outer edge and go ahead and place a pin. Next, go ahead and find that side seam um, where your pocket is. And remember that notch that we, that other notch that we made in our waistband um, that was the quarter mark. So we had the, remember there was a half in the halfway point and then we marked other notches. So you want to line that up and place a pin there okay and then next you'll notice that you may or may not notice depending on the width of your waistband that there um, that this doesn't fit evenly here so you see I have some extra fabric on my skirt that is why we made a snip in the skirt that halfway point um, so that we can create a pleat so if your waistband doesn't fit which it probably won't which is okay might be a little bit bigger you can go ahead and find that notch that you made and right at that notch you want to create a pleat so just um, pinch your fabric and now make sure that it's fitting with your waistband And now take that pleat and fold it going towards the front and place a pin there. So now I have a pleat. Okay, moving right along, I'm going to take my pocket, make sure it's going towards the front of the skirt, and I'm going to place a pin there now. I'm going to continue adding additional pins and now you'll notice that your skirt to create that wrap effect your the front skirt piece is going to pass the center front of the waistband which is what you want to happen or else if it doesn't then you know it's going to be open in the front and that's not what you want happening for yourself And now it's time to pin the other side the same exact way. And now the rest of your center front skirt piece you're going to make sure is passing the center front of the waistband. And you can tell that I can see my notch here and I can see that my skirt piece is passing up my center front notch which is right there. Which is what you want to happen to create that wrap effect. Alright, go ahead and line up the edge with 5 eighths of inch seam allowance, lower your needle, begin sewing, and backstitch, and continue sewing until you get to the end and backstitch again. The next 
thing you want to do is go ahead and trim the seam allowance of the waistband. So in your seam allowance, there's two pieces. The waistband one is the one that has the interfacing. So you want to trim that down to about one fourth of an inch. So you're going to uh, cut this off across the entire waistband. All right, next you want to press your seam allowance going up towards your waistband. All right, after you have it nicely pressed, what you're going to go ahead and do is now connect it at the center back. So with the right sides together, go ahead and first um, bring it together uh, right where the waistband and the skirt meet. Line up that seam and place a pin. Next, go ahead and find that center back notch that we made in the waistband. Line up those two and place a pin. Then, go ahead and find that zipper stop notch that we made and place a pin there. And then now is when you can go ahead and fill in additional pins here and also along the rest of the center back seam. So what we're going to do is now take this to our sewing machine and starting at the notch up here in the waistband, we're going to start off with a basting stitch and we will do that until we get to the zipper stop pin. Then once we get here, we'll back stitch and we will change to a regular stitch length and keep continuing to sew. And we're doing that because we'll end, we're going to end up taking out these basting stitches for our uh, zipper. All right, go ahead and line up the edge with 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Now I have my needle position just slightly above that center back notch, just in case any of the basting stitches come out, they don't unravel too far. Also go ahead and lower your needle and begin sewing. No need to back stitch, but if you feel that you need to for yourself, you can. Once you get to um, the notches that mark your zipper stop, go ahead and now change your stitch back to your regular stitch length. Go ahead and back stitch. Sew forward. Back stitch. Sew forward. Back stitch. All right, and now continue sewing forward using your regular st stitch length until you get to the end and then you're going to back stitch again. All right, after you have sewn that up, go ahead and take this to your iron and press the seam open.